Daddy has to go bye bye. She's been throwing up all morning. What do you got there? Uh, lollipop and chocolate. Ooh, that sounds yummy. <laughs> do you know what happens today? Daddy has to go bye-bye. He's going to leave us for a week. Are you going to miss him? I want to stay here by myself. You want to stay by yourself? <laughs> You want mommy and daddy to leave? Yeah. And Maverick will babysit you? Yeah. And Patton. Oh, and Patton. Okay. And that would be terribly wrong. That would go so wrong. Give daddy a hug. He's got to leave. You going to miss your daddy? Yeah, you give him a big old hug. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Friday. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Well, so you going to tell me who wins the NASCAR race? Because I'm not going to get to see it. Are we going to tell him who wins the race tonight? Unless Daddy has a wife by Daddy! I wish. <laughs> I wish. You going to miss him? Yeah. Are we going to have fun? Yeah. All right, Dad's leaving. Yeah. Bye. Yep, Daddy had to leave today. He's going to be gone for the week, but we'll see him on Friday. We'll be okay with Adam. It's just going to be me and Alexa for a week. It's okay. No big deal. We managed just fine. <laughs> he left more than a week at a time in Alaska, so one week's really not that bad. We'll still get to talk to him every day and everything, so... Me and Alexa are just going to hang out. Not sure what our plans are for today. She wants to ride her bike right now. She's out there riding her bike, being silly. Now I have another hole to sew, that spot right there, and the pillow soaked, all the stuffing soaked. There's eyes on my butt! Yeah. Turn around, you want to show them? Oh, you want to show them? She likes these nighttime underwear. She has eyes on her butt. Stand up, you can show them. Look, eyeballs on her butt, nose, and a sad face. <laughs> They're pretty cute. I'm going to let her watch a movie so she can calm down for bed. Stop yelling at me right now or no movie. Yay! <laughs> She's a little hyper right now, so we need a movie to calm down. Alexa and Mommy can sleep in this bed while Daddy's gone. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Yeah. It's just me and you, Mommy. It's just me and you. And not sissies. <laughs> and no, no sissies. This, and no Daddy. And no Daddy. <laughs> it's literally just you and me. Well, it's Sunday, so that means NASCAR, baby! It's a little weird watching NASCAR all by myself, but on a good note, when I talked to Kaylin and Hope a couple of days ago, they actually, since they're in Michigan and they're racing at Michigan this week, they are going to get a chance to actually attend this race, so that's pretty exciting. The big kids are actually in the stands watching this race in person as I'm watching on TV. That's pretty awesome. So I kind of feel like I get to watch it with them. Um, Alexa just wanted a movie upstairs. So I'm, like I said earlier, I was, I'm just calm, letting her calm down to go to bed. But I'm going to watch this race. And I'm keeping Daddy updated via text message since he can't be here to watch it. What are you doing? Having a tea party with mommy. Having a tea party? Yep, we're getting ready to have a tea party. Yeah. Me and Alexa just finished watching this movie we found on Amazon under the kids section. It's pretty adorable. Alexa was worried about the poor little ladybug the whole movie, but it was pretty cute. It's called Minuscule, The Valley of the Lost Ants. It's a pretty cute movie. You'll have to check it out if you guys have Amazon Prime. Look. You want to show them? Yep, yeah, this one right here. Ooh, ready? 
Cheers. Mmm. All right, let's eat. This is so yummy. Yeah. You made a mess. Oh, it's okay. You can clean it up. Ooh, it's burning my mouth. It's burning my mouth. It's hot. What would you eat tomorrow? You being silly? I'm having a tea party with mom. Mm-hmm. We've been having lots of tea parties today. Good night, friends. Are we going to bed? No. Morning, friends. This poor girl. We're at twice this month now that she's been sick. She's been throwing up all morning. I don't like that she's not feeling good. My poor baby. She just wants to watch a movie, though, so I'm going to let her get back to her movie. Hey, everybody. Huh? I don't know if we're going to film much today. Like I said in the last clip, um, Miss Lex has been sick all day. It's going on 4.30 now. Um, I think that first clip was right around 10.30, 11 o'clock when she, just after she woke up, she started getting sick pretty much right after she woke up and she's been throwing up every 10 minutes all day long. She can't keep any food, anything to drink down and she actually fell asleep about 15 minutes ago. There she is. See? That's the longest that she's gone today without throwing up. She's been asleep for about 15 minutes, so hopefully the rest is helping her. I hope she gets to feeling better, but like I said, I don't know if we're gonna film much today just because there's not really much to film. It's just been, um, hanging out with her, cuddling her, trying to get her to feel as good as I possibly can. There's not really much I can do about her throwing up. I've given her medicine, it's not working. So, we're just waiting it out now. Good morning, friends. It was a rough night last night. Um, Miss Alexa was pretty sick. All day yesterday, she was thrown up every 15 minutes or so. Um, I finally ended up taking her to the hospital last night at about nine o'clock because she started to show signs of being dehydrated. Her mouth was really dry. Her skin was really dry. She had poor cap capillary refills. Um, she had no tears when crying, and then she hadn't urinated for almost um, 10 hours at that point. So I took her to the hospital. They were able to get her some medication that they thought would stop the vomiting so that we could get some fluids into her body. They tested her blood. All of her blood levels were extremely low. And so they wanted to keep her overnight, but the hospital didn't have any rooms. And the closest hospital with the pediatric ward that had rooms was in Nuremberg, which is almost an hour drive from where we were at with the clinic in Ansbach. So the doctor told us to take the medicine, go home and wait an hour and see how she was doing and if she was still super sick to take her to the hospital in Nuremberg. So we came home and we got home. We waited the hour out. They gave her the medicine at 10.02 and then we were driving home and as we were driving home at about 10 15 10 20 she threw up in the back seat of the car so of course that wasn't a good sign they were hoping to get her to keep the medication down um, and then when i got home i got that all cleaned up and we went upstairs and she actually didn't throw up again until about 11:45. and so by the time i realized the medicine wasn't working because the, when she threw up on the way home, it was just a clear liquid. It was just the water. She had drank water about five minutes prior to taking the medication. And so my assumption at the time is maybe she just threw up the water because it didn't look like she had threw up the medicine because the medicine was like a white, very white, thick consistency. Um, and so I wanted to give it some time at home to see if it was going to work. And we ended up going like an hour and a half or so without any vomiting but at this point it was like 11 
11.30, I want to say 11.30, 11.45 at night, and I was so unbelievably exhausted. She was so unbelievably exhausted. There was absolutely no way we were going to make that drive 45 minutes to an hour to get to the other hospital. So we ended up just staying home, and um, so it ended up being a super rough night. She ended up waking up. I don't even really know that she slept. She kind of like nodded off, but about every 30 minutes she would wake up and throw up. And then uh, the last time she threw up was at 3.45 in the morning this morning. And then after that, she just woke up every half hour and she was dry heaving until about 6 a.m. And then at 6 a.m. she finally fell asleep and stayed asleep until 7. And then at 7 o'clock, um, she actually woke up because she had peed the bed, so um, obviously that was a good sign because she was finally urinating. <clears throat> so we got that cleaned up, took about 45 minutes to get that cleaned up, and I got her back to sleep, and then she slept until roughly about 9.30 this morning. Um, I got her up. She wanted to drink some water. She's still super lethargic today. She doesn't want to do anything. She's been just laying around and sleeping all day which is totally fine. She has been drinking fluids. She's been able to keep, we haven't had any vomiting since 3.45 this morning, minus the dry heaving for a couple of hours after that, but nothing actually came up. So she's been able to keep fluids down. She fell asleep for about two and a half hours. No, I'm sorry. She fell asleep for about an hour this morning and then she woke up and she um, ate some cereal, she drank some water and some chocolate milk, and then she wanted to lay on the couch and watch a movie. So I let her lay on the couch and watch a movie. I got her all calmed down and settled. She ended up wanting a granola bar as well. So I gave her a granola bar, she got half of that. And then once it looked like she was okay, calm, I made sure she was gonna keep the food down. Um, I ran upstairs to take a shower. When I came back downstairs from the shower, she's actually asleep on the couch right now. And it is, so it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I got downstairs about 20 minutes ago from the shower, so it looks like she's gonna take another nap right now, but that's good. We've had no signs that she's gonna get sick again. She's still super lethargic, but we are able to get her to drink some fluid. She's taken in fluid, she's taken in food. So hopefully this means she's on the mend. But we'll just have to wait and see. Are you feeling better? Your tummy still hurt? No. No? I'm going to watch a movie. Yep. Alexa's, uh, I think, coming up on the mend of being sick. So that's a good thing. Um, we just had a pretty easy day. We just laid around, relaxed, and she got lots of rest and she didn't sleep much last night. Um, we didn't film anything today just because I was trying to let her rest as much as she could. We did get to the doctors and they got us some rehydration tablets to give her and some juice to help her get rehydrated because she was sick for so long. And then, um, they gave us uh, another dose of the medicine for vomiting in case she gets sick again. But I think she's on the mend. The doctor thinks she's on the mend. So that's good. She's willing to eat now. She's getting some fluids. And then the biggest thing is the doctor said try to give her anything sugary. So give her like Coke, Sprite, something like that. That's a liquid but that has a lot of sugar in it. And so she had a little bit of a Coke. Maybe three or four ounces of a Coke earlier. It seemed, actually seemed to help. I was pretty shocked. Um, and of course she liked that. She loves Coke. So when she heard the doctor say Coke, she was like, I want Coke, I want Coke the whole way home. So we got her some Coke. We got her some chicken. She had a couple pieces of chicken. And you got, now you're eating a granola bar. And, and I want a movie. Yep, yeah, and now she wants a movie and some chocolate milk. So mommy's gonna get her a movie and some chocolate milk but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here sorry we didn't film much yesterday and today but it was just her being sick and so with it just being me and Alexa here there's nothing really to film if she's not feeling good so thanks for checking in with us again guys and we will uh, check in with you again tomorrow bye